That's what it is. Jada, how you gotta get it, Jay? <laughs> Can you help me with this tattoo? I got you! Yeah, I need help. Well, bully, bully, bully. I know you play basketball <laughs> as a young man. <laughs> Look at this. Look, look at this right here. Is the, Jerry, is the Jerry curl an asset or a disadvantage when you're playing basketball? That's how I get my shot off. I wipe the hands and... <laughs> I said, Jerry curl. See, I had a California curl. Oh, See, is that right? For all my curlsters back then, uh -huh. I call them curls. That is a California curl. And what it is, I get the, I get the small rollers in the front and the big rollers in the back. <laughs> and from the side, I look like a Z28. <laughs> it works, whatever. <laughs> you got a LeBron in. You got a, you got a LeBron in. I do. What do you mean, be very physical? You just got to be physical. Just, you know how LeBron just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's go, bro. Let's go, bro. <laughs> Is LeBron a friend of yours? Yes, I he love is. LeBron. Has he been to your house, for instance? He has not. No. He has not. Yeah. I mean, I mean, but he's still he's still a friend. But I had everybody else though. Who's been to your house? So at basketball. So players. so I do these. You know, I do my parties, man. Uh -huh. So I did uh, I did a party for the whole Olympic basketball team. Uh huh. Everybody came except DeAndre Jordan and Harrison Barnes. But everybody else, Clay Thompson, Melo, every. So they all come to the crib. Uh-huh. But I do, I do, I do what we call uh, contrast parties. What is There's that? There's always a contrast. So I have the whole Olympic basketball team, but I had David Blaine show up and, and did you magic, imagine. right? Oh, nice. And I don't know if you ever seen him, but he just, he just, you know, look at that. It's right there. And he, he was pulling stuff out of people's faces and out their ass. I was like, it's crazy. Yeah. But it's something about black people and magic. If the magic is too good, we get scared. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Cause he did something and Kevin Durant went, uh-uh, man, hold on. He said, man, that's sorceries, man. That's sorceries. <laughs> but <laughs> am I right? I was going to say, am I right, brother? There are no brothers. Yeah, no. <laughs> You're in the Guess I have to sign the complaint. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, uh, but, yeah. but yeah, so so I like doing the, the contrast. So yeah, we had Kyrie Irving. That's a fun Irvin. idea. Yeah, now, this, this, I get to get the chance to get the inside scoop because we had Ky Kyrie Irving came, uh, and it, this was just before he. He, you know, he left to go to Boston, went to school, but I did yeah. his birthday party at my, at my crib. Oh, you did? You had And we always party. do a contrast. We always do a contrast. So I had him come, and I had a mariachi band. <laughs> <laughs> and he literally went like, yo, really? Are you serious? <laughs> mariachi band. I said, wait till you see what it does to the party. Because the mariachi band is very significant, significant because the, the, the person who does the mariachi is the guy who handles my grounds at the house. Ah. Like, one day he was out there doing some stuff, and I heard him singing, and I was like, man, you do mariachi? Yes, I do mariachi. I said, man, really? I do contrast parties, would you come? This time it was, I had Denzel coming over. Uh-huh. Great. Great. You mean Denzel Washington? Denzel Washington. Okay, all right. So, <laughs> I, I'm being too cool with her. <laughs> I, had, I had D. Anyway. Oh, D came there, yeah. No, so Denzel Washington had come before, and I said, Manny, I want you to bring your mariachi band and perform for Denzel Washington. Now, mind you, I never heard him. Mm -hmm. So, but he shows up with 100 mariachi people, <laughs> like the dancers, the horns, and everything. And as Denzel was sitting at the table, uh, uh, I said, Denzel, we got the mariachi band coming for you. He said, oh, mariachi? All right, OK. <laughs> Okay, all right, mariachi. So you got... <laughs> you got a mariachi band. All right. Okay. So the mariachi band did great. So I'm telling... So, so as, a, as, as, as Kyrie is standing, I said, this mariachi band was in front of Denzel, and I'm telling you, it's going to be hot. And then, so he's sitting there, and I'm not, still doubting it, and, and there's Manny. He comes at the top of the stairs, full regalia. He goes, Guadalajara, Guadalajara! <laughs> I mean, and the whole place went up in flames. They loved like, it. Yeah, ba -da -ba 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 -ba, and we were going crazy. <laughs> and then we had, and then I have, I have a, I have a secret weapon. What is it? In the, in the mariachi band, his, his name is Luis. 
Okay. And Luis is about this tall. Uh huh. And Luis comes out and he says, Mr. Jamie, is it okay if I sing something in English? I said, of course. And he broke out, at last. And the place went crazy. Yeah, so, a mariachi yeah. version of At Last. Yeah, no, uh, yes, no. exactly. Duerme con los angelitos, negritos. And then, duerme con los. And just one more question about this, because then after they had this amazing performance, yeah. on Monday after the party, and those guys are now back out in the yard raking leaves, was it weird? <laughs> oh my God. That's my family. Baby. I, don't know I know, but it's my, but it's, it's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta work that part out. Yeah, to, be honest, that. to be honest with you, yeah. uh, we did a movie called All Star Weekend where mm -hmm. um, it's about, I directed my first directorial debut. It's really? A <laughs> but it's about two guys. It's, it's called All-Star Weekend. It's about two guys. One loves Steph Curry, the other one loves LeBron James, mm -hmm. and they're just trying to get to the All-Star game. But I called all of my friends to come play. So I called uh, Robert Downey Jr. Uh-huh. And I said, yes, yes, let it out. <laughs> let it out. I called Robert Downey Jr. I said, would you come be in the movie? Just give me four hours. But the only catch is you have to play a Mexican. <laughs> and he was like, and I was like, uh, I said, could you play a Mexican? He said, dude, here's the deal, sure, of course. <laughs> of course, why not, sure, of course, play the Mexican. So uh, he, he plays, he plays a, a, a Mexican. He does. I, I, I play, uh, I play myself and, um, I, I play a racist white cop. Oh. Uh, Gerard Butler plays a Russian uh -huh. who loves gymnastics just as much as we love basketball. Benicio Del Toro plays a uh, tattoo artist slash Dr. Phil. We got, <laughs> we got everybody in it. But, but here's the, what I was trying to get to. Yeah. Manny yeah. wrote the song what? that uh, Robert Downey Jr. uses when he, there's a scene where Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. pulls guns. Thanks. When Robert Downey Jr. pulls guns, and I said, Manny, I want to say death is coming and you can't hide, but I want to sing it like, in, you know, in in, in uh, Spanish. Spanish. Yeah, I think they call it Spanish. I'm gonna say it yeah. in Mexican. <laughs> in Spanish. <laughs> so he wrote, he wrote the song. Lil Mera te viene, no puedes con ella. And then he pulls the gun. The so, talent has so even Manny, spread to your yard. It's that, unbelievable. <laughs> so Manny has publishing coming. I love it. Uh, good job, good. Manny. Well there done. Manny, bueno, Manny. Manny. Jamie bueno. Fox is here. His show's called Beach and Man. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. An evil wizard has trapped me inside this YouTube video. Click subscribe to help me escape.